Hey folks, let's talk about runes and specifically the ones that you cannot buy on the trading post. And today I would like to concentrate on a superior rune of the nightmare because recently I finished my renegade, I mean the open world build and had to get six of them on my own. As you can see I've upgraded my gear already and at first I was thinking like oh it takes effort to get so I'll just use any other alternative but then I realized that every other alternative is inferior. Also this rune is used in quite a few other Condi builds not only Renegade so some of others out there might find it useful as well. And a little fun fact, I will have to double check if my mic is working because I did a roller beetle video a couple days ago and it was a long one. But sadly it had to go to the trash because my mic decided not to work for some reason. Alright, so how do you get this rune? First you can use lay energy matter converter or a karmic one but this method is sort of gambling and not the most reliable one at all. The reliable way is of course dungeon armor and weapon vendor Excelsior. where you can check it out and see that Twilight Arbor rewards contain Superior Rune of the Nightmare which you can buy for 120 Deadly Blooms. Also if you check the exotic armor tab, you will see that every piece of nightmare armor is equipped with the same superior rune of the nightmare. So how did I get those runes fast enough and without any sort of frustration? I was doing uh, PvP and chose Twilight Arbor reward track for some cool weapon skins, like this one for example. Yeah. And then I noticed that I have accumulated some deadly blooms just by doing this reward track a few times. So I had enough to buy a couple pieces of Nightmare Court armor and salvage them using Black Lion Salvage Kit that you can get for three Black Lion statues. It's a very nice tool to have and to save your expensive runes and sigils because it has 100% chance for upgrades recovery. And I mean of course you can buy the rune straight away but if you are after some of those skins you can get the skin and the rune. By the way this is the kit I was talking about. So this way I got a couple. It was nice but I still needed more runes. So what I did, I went to this Twilight Arbor dungeon alone on my Reaper Minion Master and tried to solo it. First the story, then the explorable mode. And it is in fact doable alone, it's not that hard, you just need to be a little bit more careful. Uh, for one completed path you get 20 blooms and a bonus of 80 for the first run daily. Mind you, there are two Nightmare Court paths, so in theory you could get 200 blooms daily, plus a few additional ones that drop after killing mini bosses on your way to the Nightmare Tree. And personally, my recommendation would be uh, Lurens Path, which is up because I found this one easier. And in fact, let me just show you briefly how it looks and feels. And let's just go and visit the dungeon. Yeah, and it's in Caledon Forest, and there is a waypoint. And as I said, first you need uh, to complete the story mode, which is easier, and then you get the deadly blooms by doing the explorable one. And when you will enter, I'm you will hear some blah free. blah blah, which is a bit annoying because every time it's the same thing over the and over again, but it's not a not big deal. Alright, so we will talk with uh, Kale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know where I will go. And Nightmare Court must be stopped, of course. Now this sunflower <laughs> will activate. 
So, as you can see, the entrance to the Nightmare Court paths is open. And let's summon our minions, because they play a crucial role in this dungeon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. And there we go. These blooms are quite nasty. So ranged option is really nice to get rid of them before they do any significant damage. Yes, and also you need to be a little bit careful with those dogs and stuff because they do quite significant damage. And you will rally in this place a lot of time. I don't know why. I guess this is because of these blossoms. So let's get our main minion back. Yes, spectral armor. Yes. And actually the rest of the dungeon is pretty much easier. It's just these doggies that give you a hard time. Yeah, let's get a few of them. Let's get our shroud. And there we go to the first mini boss. And actually there's loads of those blooms. We will get down here a lot. Because... Let me just show you. We'll try to get rid of as much as possible. And these nightmare wines will pop up. After you will kill five of them, I think. The fat one will spawn. And let me just kill it. And I will get back to you when we will have to choose the path. And sometimes it goes pretty decent. Sometimes not. You just have to be a little bit patient. Yes. And when the guy dies, everything disappears and him. becomes you, really, really calm. Also, you get those bags of wondrous goods. There are two parts. Let's see what they Which give. They give three deadly blooms. And this sunflower asks me whether I want to keep moving forward or I want to go up. And as I said, the easier path is just to go up and we will have some spiders and whatnot these are actually easier than the doggies and the two bosses you will encounter afterwards will be i would say quite easy and the last one which is nightmare 3 uh, will be not that hard either i just stand behind it let my minions get the aggro and kill those turrets around it and healing seeds or whatever they are called. So that's the dungeon pretty much. It is soloable. It's not easy. Uh, maybe there is some better choice of class and spec. Maybe Firebrand. I tried this before with Scourge Minion Master. Uh, it also went pretty well but was painfully slow. And that's pretty much it. This is how you get those nightmare runes for your beloved character. Alright then guys, I will thank you for watching. I hope it will be helpful at least for someone. And I will see you next time. Bye bye.